Um, this is somewhat of a bittersweet moment for NASA because this mobile service tower was involved in the launch of Cassini. The mobile service tower had a lot of flexibility for NASA because Cassini was a very large spacecraft and in addition to that it had two upper stages attached to it. So it gave us a lot of flexibility to have access to the Cassini spacecraft while we were getting ready with the final preparations for launch. Cassini is at Saturn now knocking everybody's socks off with science to the extent that it's been given a mission extension for another two years. So it's hard to believe it's been ten and a half years since Cassini was launched. While this mobile service tower certainly was important from the NASA perspective because of the flexibility that, that we got from it, particularly with Cassini, the role of the pad is changing. And SpaceX is going to be launching Falcon 1 and Falcon 9, both of which now, with a, with a contract that was awarded to SpaceX this past week, allows SpaceX to compete for launches for NASA uh, doing similar space science type of payloads. And in addition, it's going to be doing the commercial uh, transportation for resupply of the space station. So while this pad and this particular mobile service tower was important for our planetary launches of Cassini, it will see far more NASA launches in the future. What is the, the future of it? You know, how, how much advance we're going to see in technology and what can we look forward to in the future in the next 10 years or so? Well, as far as NASA's concerned, uh, while the space shuttle program is coming to an end, uh, there is going to be a need to resupply the space station on an ongoing basis, and SpaceX is going to be one of the centerpieces of what will be used to resupply the space station using the Falcon rockets. In addition, uh, even though we're not launching shuttle to the space station anymore, we are going to be launching uh, unmanned spacecraft for space science and planetary probes as far out as we can see. And SpaceX is going to be uh, using Falcon 1 and Falcon 9 to compete for some of those payloads that we're going to be launching. So while the mobile surface tower was used for the Titan IV Centaur rocket, which launched Cassini and had that kind of flexibility, it will still, Complex 40, have a very important role as far as NASA is concerned because a new family of rockets is coming on board that meets NASA's needs today.